Grand Rising Bag family. Hoping everybody's having a magnificent day. We sure in the heck is. <laughs> or are. Anyway, today is day 10 of the drip irrigation uh, installing day. And look right here. None of the people have showed up. They worked um, two days last week and um, said that they're not showing up on Friday because it's a prayer day. So Sweet Juicy Mama and I had to um uh, had to uh, change up our plans to accommodate their schedule. Now I'm not quite sure why they're wrapping that wire on there. Maybe that's to prevent it from popping out. But uh, he still didn't bend these pipes right here because I was concerned about them. You know, you know, I got a lot of young guys working here, and a lot of them are playful. I'm concerned about them tripping and falling on one of those metal poles sticking up but he has assured me he's going to bend that down where the sharp part isn't standing up so anyway um yesterday was the longest i've ever seen him work i think they put in five hours that's in a month and a half period that's the longest i've seen him work five hours most of the times it's come out here for two hours and then go back but they've um, extended the dripper line down the miles I thought they would measure them out a little bit better than they did but uh, they were just whipping it out and stuff you know what I'm saying so uh, overall uh, the job seems unsatisfactory you know what I'm saying um, we'll see what the end product looks like but right now uh, not not too hot though you know what I'm saying so um, for what we're paying for the system you know I, I thought it would be um uh, installed a little bit more professional than it is right now and you see all the debris and cigarette buzz and trash and how they're running the pipes down the line and the days of work you know what i'm saying is uh unsettling and uh then he came across here and said, see right here, see how the pipe is up? I'm concerned about somebody tripping over that. You know, I want to make it again idiot proof where, um, you know, the people don't have to come through here and worry about tripping over stuff and making us liable. So he was saying, well, it's the way the mounds are, you know, you could have pulled this back a little bit farther. He could have modified the mounds to make it look a little better than it is now. And see all this excess pipe. All this excess pipe is going to be lost and stuff. Now look how long this one is. It only needs to run the length of the mound. But this one is extending to the, to the next mound. So, ain't too satisfied about that because... We got to absorb the the brunt of that cost. Pieces right here out here. So sure enough, the dog bit it or cracked or whatever, but still going to need that piece later on. We just want to be done with it and get it over with and, and deal with whatever arises. But like I said, the guys came out here Friday. They, they took care of um, one of the 45 meter by 45 meter 
plots and they started working on the second one then all of a sudden they just got out of here I thought they were going to finish it up but they didn't so here's another one of my concerns I like to address I know there's going to be less weeds with the drip irrigation but come rainy season I'm concerned about people might mess up and hit that uh, drip line with one of these these pipes here and stuff you know what I'm saying hopefully we can institute a you damage you pay to make them a little bit more cautious because like I say this 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 drip irrigation system was a pretty penny to install and uh, I'm pretty sure there's some maintenance costs associated with it but uh, we just want to get a profitable running garden and stuff versus where we're at right now wow yeah these guys here yeah from from what I'm seeing right now they they don't seem to be professional about their job or care about it see I just left the holes out here and I jump on them all the time about that you know all this excess holes out here guess I gotta point that out to them again but yeah they just left this right out here metal pipes you know, you would think um, once you explain it to them once, they get a comprehension of what, what you're looking for. Now, here's another one. Now, I know the dog didn't bite this one. This one just cracked. Who absorbed that cost? Yours truly. So... This is the one that they finished up yesterday before running out of here. All this excess holes up. Now the guy who recommended him to us does the uh, solar panels. No complaints about the solar panels, you know what I'm saying? But uh, look where they put the trash at right there. So, I guess I got to be a little more direct with them when they come out here Saturday, if they show up Saturday. Yeah, they made no effort to lay this pipe down on the ground. They ran it on top of the plants. See over there? And... The reason why I believe they work so much uh, on Thursday is because the owner said uh, no fish money. Ramadan is coming up and we need some fish money. So, so you could have damaged that pineapple right there. See the little baby pineapple growing? Just ran this on a, on a line, but uh, didn't get that kink out right there. See, right there's a potential leak because he didn't get that kink out. And there's another one. Ran the hose pipe on top of this. See, right on top of this banana, uh, pineapple. Nothing wrong with just putting it right up underneath there. Nothing wrong with that. But this goes to show you that when you're coming over here and you're dealing with contractors, you have to, I mean, constantly, I mean, almost like you're on, on the back, on their backs. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What? Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, you got to constantly be on the contractor's back. Like, you know, on, I mean, literally on their back. You know, no time to breathe or do whatever, because when you step off, you're going to see some things like this right here that just don't fit fit well with you and stuff, you know? Now look at this one right here. That makes absolutely no sense right there. How are you going to run that drip irrigation system on top of the papaya? Yep. As soon as you turn your back or use the bathroom or 
anything of that sort to come and tell you, oh, we finished. You know, so you 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 let them go, and and this is the result of what they do right here, running us up like that. So, um, I got some words for them when they show up tomorrow, if they show up. All right, family. That's the day 10, if that's what the day is, because we're going into a month and a half right now. It's day 10 of a month and a half. You do the math. Drip irrigation system is being installed un unsatisfactory. And um, pretty sure they're going to try to rush through it because we get ready to go into Ramadan and they want fish money. That's not from me. That's from his mouth. So we're going to stay here and get this system as close to uh, operational as possible. All right, then. Talk to you later, family. Bye.